Hi guys, so this is just a quick vlog of my newest obsession which is polymer clay and resin. And uh, I've become really obsessed with Nerdy Crafter here on YouTube and definitely check her out. She does really fun like nerdy uh, polymer clay and resin tutorials. And I got some stuff from Amazon that I've been dying to get. So I thought it'd be fun to just quickly talk about it as well as show some pieces that I made. And um, just some upcoming stuff that I want to do. But <clears throat> I got some fun stuff from Amazon. So uh, me and my boyfriend, well my boyfriend came up with the idea to make uh, gelatinous cube pieces out of resin, which I thought would be so much fun, like that's such a cute idea because we can make um, pieces to go into the gelatinous cube out of polymer clay, like chests or rusted armor or little body parts. So this is uh, really cute. I also want to use these to make jewelry. I really like the idea of like, I like how small these are, so these would be good jewelry pieces. So here's the resin. Uh, I've never worked with resin before. Uh, I've been, I'm just using Nerdy Crafters videos to help me out. She recently made like a resin hack video, so this should help out a lot. I used her videos just to make the stuff that I've made with the polymer clay, and it's come out awesome. Like her stuff is really good for uh, beginners. So the rest, it's all polymer clay stuff. So this is translucent liquid Sculpey. So this is great if you want to make a piece that has some kind of liquid element to it. So say you're uh, making a glass of spilled milk. So uh, the milk part would be made out of the translucent liquid Sculpey because it'll bake like liquid. It'll look like liquid. We got this awesome sampler pack. Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish it came up as beautiful like in the packaging and like on camera, but it looks really nice. Um, it has a lot of the stuff that I'll need, so the basics as well as a lot of fun stuff, uh, gold, silver, um, some glittery stuff because I haven't tried any of the glittery Sculpey out. Um, a big brick of black because uh, I'm almost out, I use it the most. and. Lastly, I think this is was opal, I think. Yeah, opal. This is beautiful. Oh my god. This is like I've saw a nerdy crafter use this opal polymer clay and it's just so beautiful. Um, there we go. See look at those awesome little speckles of like um uh, cellophane, some kind of cellophane glitter or something. Baked, it looks beautiful, like really looks opal as the name says. So I'm really excited to play with this. And now I'm just going to show you some pieces that I made. So when David Bowie died, I had to make some kind of something. And I made this little, this is the first polymer piece I ever made. So I'm very proud of how it came out. Uh, I made this little Goblin King from the Labyrinth. Uh, I'm really happy. So this was all like with the help of nerdy crafters videos so this is everything on here i learned from her i love how it came out um i like the really the cute little blushing and how the eye the detailing on the eyes came out i'm really happy as well as the ruffling on the shirt i wasn't sure how to do that that i just kind of made up myself and then the next day i found out alan rickman died and uh so i had to make something to commemorate him as well. So I made a little Snape. Oh, I, I think this is my favorite piece that I've made so far is my Snape. I'm really um, happy with how it came out. I was debating whether or not to put the like the detailing, so I put like the button detailing because it's black on black. It's like all black, so I was like, mm, should I put it? And I did, so I'm glad I did. I'm happy with how the little button detailing came out, even though it's all black and like when I actually wear it, because it's a necklace, you don't see it, but it matters to me. So, yeah. I mean, it came out cute. <laughs> His head came out so much flatter uh, than my first one. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, uh, eh, eh. I've already made them kiss. Like, I don't know why. I, but anyway, uh, yeah, look how, like, I, I like the plump head better than this flat, it's like a coin. 
but yeah, I think this is my favorite so far. Next is this little Lily. Oh, so, so cute. I'm obsessed with making GBs. I'm so obsessed with GBs. So, I'm proud of how this came out too. So, I've, um, this is all pastel, chalk pastel. All the green, the skin tone is all chalk pastel. So this is just skin tone clay underneath, skin tone colored clay and then like um, green pastel over it. So I'm proud of how that came out. Mm, she's so cute. Then I made this little Jason head. I really like how the, the scratches came out. I'm glad I added that little detail. A little alien. I am alien queen of darkness, might as well. So this is green and translucent Sculpey. Uh, I really want to play around with the glow in the dark Sculpey as well. But yeah, translucent makes a nice uh, alien skin tone. I also made another one. I made two of those. So I not too long ago got 2,000 subscribers. So thank you. I've, hit 2,000 and a while back I said I was gonna do a giveaway at 2,000 I still plan to it's just I don't know what to give away I'll probably make stuff now that I'm working with polymer clay and stuff um, I'll probably give away this other alien head um, there's two plushies that I'm thinking of adding in but yeah I'm probably gonna just craft some little charms or jewelry or something to give away eventually whenever I decide to like put it together because I have yeah like 2,000 subscribers or whatever but I get like two to three hundred on average of viewers so it'd be nice to narrow down who those people are that actually watch me consistently <laughs> uh, I'm sure they'll join in because I'm sure the people that join in on the giveaway are gonna be people that actually watch me um, it'd be weird for like a thousand people to chime in out of nowhere it's not unlikely. I mean, it's a giveaway. People like free stuff, but I just don't... It just seems unlikely. So, I'm not sure what the rules will be yet. I'm not announcing it yet, but just letting you know, a giveaway will be coming. Um, I think that's it. Tomorrow I'm going to work on a, a clay tool hack. So, I... Basically, all the tools that I've used for polymer clay, I've made myself, so just make a video on that. Maybe you can't get your hands on some um, tools or certain types of tools. I can show you how to make them. So, thank you for watching, and have a great day.